What's good Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. Today we are looking at cornerback Tyler Hall who's ranked as the Raiders second best defensive player over the past four weeks at least according to Pro Football Focus's grades where he has an overall grade of a 78.4 which is really really good but I want to actually watch the tape. I want to see if the tape actually matches the grade. Now here's an interesting play. This was the third play of the game understand hall rotates in with roger teamer sometimes teamer will play the slot position sometimes it'll be hall so the raiders kind of do some different things but against the patriots he played a lot now the raiders here are in a cover three nate hobbs is going to have the deep third which means hall is responsible for the vertical hooks now in my opinion on this play this should have probably been a catch and hall has to do a better job mac jones is going to throw it to the wide receiver and Jones just throws it a little bit too far out. But again, I think this right here should have been a catch. I think Tyler Hall is not in position to make a play on this ball. But again, we're going to look at every single rep. And this is just one of many, many reps. With that being said, let's get into the next rep. We got Hall lined up right here. The Raiders are going to be in a cover one man-to-man -man defense. And he does a pretty good job. He doesn't get tested. He does a nice job making contact at about five yards. Of course, the quarterback doesn't throw it his way. So I think that's a win. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this next play out first and 10. You got Hall lined up in the slot. The Raiders are in a cover four. Hall's gonna do a pretty nice job and the quarterback's gonna look away from Hall and he's gonna end up throwing this away from Hall. I'm gonna go to the end zone angle really quickly just so you guys can see Mac Jones actually take the football and initially look to his right or, the, or to the right of the screen to his left specifically. And then he's gonna come back to the other side and throw the ball to the other side. Now that's important because when Mac Jones gets the ball out of shotgun, Mac Jones is going to look to his left first. He's looking right at Hall here. Understand he isn't looking at this receiver here. He's looking at the guy here. If that guy is not open, that's his first option. He's going to come back to the other side. He's going to throw the ball to the other side. Now, this is a completed catch, but in my opinion, Hall does a pretty nice job in zone coverage. This is a cover four, so technically Hall would play the flats. But the thing I like about it is he's not going to run out to the flats until there's a guy out there. Uh, right at the beginning of this play, no one runs into the flats. You're going to see the running back here eventually release. But Hall's going to play a man as opposed to grass, which definitely is promising. There's a nice job. And the quarterback's basically not going to throw it here because Hall's right there. And then Hall's going to jump out and then he's going to get into the flat. So it's a nice job right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Now, do note, Hall played in 43 total snaps, but there's always a ton of snaps like this. Where the run is away from Hall and he has zero impact on the play. Keep in mind, we'll be skipping all of these type of plays. Alrighty, guys. First and goal for the New England Patriots at the two-yard line. This was right after the pass interference by Amik Robertson. You got Hall right here. And he's going to do a really, really nice shot filling his gap. You know, one of the things that happens is players pull, players go on land blocks, players backside block. And it is up to the defensive players to be able to read, react, and fill their gaps. Now this play is very interesting because at the moment, you see Hall right here. Between him and Crosby, one of them has the outside gap, one has to contain the inside gap. Now what's actually going to happen is number 81 is going to come on a wham block and the right tackle is going to block out on Crosby, the right guard is going to block out here. So Hall has to follow the block of 81 and he has to set the edge and he does exactly that. We're going to watch this play in slow motion right here. Number 81 is going to go to the left of your screen. Right tackle, right guard are both going to block out. And watch Hall come and fill this gap right here. He does a really solid job being able to make that read. Now you see Luke Masterson's kind of in there. You see the defensive tackle there. But Hall is also right there. You see him right there. Basically, he's going to get in there and help make sure the running back does not pick up this touchdown. That right there is a nice job by Tyler Hall. I've watched every single one of his reps already. I wouldn't say he's going to be a superstar. I wouldn't say he's going to be a really, really good football player. I think he's done some good things on tape, but he still has to develop. A lot of developing still, in my opinion. But when I will watch Patrick Graham's past defenses and how he's had success in the past, he needs smart football players. There's a reason why Darren Harmon is arguably our best player on the back end, right? The back seven. There's an argument to be made. It's because he's super smart. He's a guy from the Bill Belichick system. So he knows that defensive coaches might have you do multiple things. But when I watch Tyler Smith, I see a very, very smart football player. A very interesting play here. The Raiders have all their players in the front seven lined up on the line of scrimmage. They're going to have guys drop back. And technically, the Raiders are in a cover three. As these guys drop back, you're going to see Hall, who's initially lined up in the slot. 
play that vertical hook. So he's going to start running to his right. Now it's interesting because Amik Robertson looks like he's kind of pointing or he's kind of trying to say something. I'm not sure exactly what he's trying to do. But even when 84 runs this quick hitch, Amik almost runs to 84. Right, you can tell like he's backpedaling, he's backpedaling, he almost stops himself to go to 84. And then he's going to take the defender running down the seam. And Mac Jones throws a pretty nice ball and the receiver's just not able to bring it in. I just wanted to show you guys this play. I'm not sure exactly what happened if there was miscommunication between the two. I'm going to say there probably wasn't. Amik should have gotten over quicker. Either way, this pass should have been a completed pass. And it should have went for probably like 25 yards. So Amik has to do a better job if he was the guy that was incorrect on this play. Either way, just wanted to show it to you guys. Let's get into the next rep. One of the biggest issues I've had with the Raiders secondary players is their inability to tackle. So it's actually nice to be able to watch a guy play his zone coverage. And when the quarterback checks it down, he can come up and make the tackle. Again, oftentimes this does not happen for the Raiders. Oftentimes our secondary guys are missing these type of tackles. So it's nice to be able to see number 37 come up and make the stick. Absolutely love this play right here. Really nice job scoring him up. Uh, one of the things to consider is he's playing this outside in. All right, so he's not going to let this guy get to the outside. He's going to make sure to contain that outside. Remember, that was a big issue against the Rams. Our defense did not do things correctly on that final drive. We we're letting those guys kind of get out of bounds and run some routes to the outside. So that's a nice job right there. Keep in mind, this is the two-minute drill the Patriots are trying to run. You got a cover one man-to-man -man right here. Check out Tyler Hall in the slot. Do an absolute beautiful job sticking with Jacoby Myers. He doesn't get beat. He's right on top of the route. That's a really, really nice job. You got Tyler Hall lined up in the slot, and he does a great job breaking the pass up right here. He's in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Jacoby Myers. This is a cover one, and he's going to knock the pass incomplete. I'm going to let you guys watch this from the end zone angle, and then we'll break it down a little bit because I do think his technique is a little interesting, and there's a chance that teams could next week potentially uh, come at him right with this technique. And again, I'm not sure it's Patrick Graham that's telling him, this is how we want you to play it. Uh, this is a nice job to not pass interference, look for the ball, and basically help knock it complete. So really, really nice job. Now, just to back it up, kind of what I was talking about, if you guys watch Haw here, look at how he opens up. He's going to open up way far to the outside, right? He's basically going to give the receiver the inside. Now, I'm not sure if he looks at it like I have inside help with Merrick, who's playing that cover one rat. Roll right, he's still right, he's kind of that Rome defender. But he's really giving the receiver the inside. Now, of course, the receiver is running some sort of sail or corner route. But if the receiver ran an in route, would the space right here that Hall has between him and the receiver be enough for him to be able to make ground? It's just something to consider. Although this play was absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice shot. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and jump forward into the next play. This is towards the end of the third quarter. Uh, one of the interesting things in this game that I've noted is Hall played a lot in the first half. In the third quarter, this is about his fourth or fifth snap. So the Raiders really went with Roderick Teamer a lot more often. They even put Nate Hobbs in the slot. And Hall hasn't played a whole ton. Now, I'm showing you guys this play because it's kind of interesting. You know, if you guys just look at the play right now, what type of defense does this look like to you guys? And it's interesting because Patrick Graham is mixing his defense up. Right now, it looks like they're about to play some sort of cover zero where you're going to have all of these guys right here blitz. Uh, and it looks like the Raiders are in some sort of man-to-man -man situation with all of these guys. But they're going to roll out of this uh, as the ball kind of gets snapped. You see Harmon roll out first, and then Tyler Hall rolls out as well. And it's really a cover two, right? This entire defense is a cover two. But it's interesting because pre-snap, they made it look like a cover zero. All right, so Patrick Graham is mixing his defense up. Pre-snap, he's trying to show one thing. And then post-snap, as the ball gets snapped, he wants to mix it up. Now, the interesting thing is if Mac Jones throws this right now, um, Amik Robertson's making the play. But at the same time, Hall is in good enough position that Mac Jones doesn't feel comfortable taking his shot here. Again, cover two, that's where you'd want to go. Again, very interesting that Patrick Graham is mixing his defense up. That too, he's sending his slot cornerback to play that cover to a deep half, right? So again, it's kind of interesting the, the way uh, Patrick Graham is kind of designing his defense. And you guys can see right here, this play ends up going for a, a loss of a couple yards. Kind of interesting. Once again, the Raiders are showing that cover zero look. It looks like it's some sort of man-to-man -man situation across the board. And you're going to blitz all of these guys. You're going to see Tyler Hall right here. Um, and the Patriots are going to try to counter this cover zero look. By throwing a quick screen. 
and it actually ends up being a cover three. So they take the cover zero pre-snap look, turn it into a cover three. Harmon drops into the deep third. Hobbs has a deep third, and you, and you can tell based off of Amik's technique, he's also going to be playing the deep third. Hall is going to be playing the vertical hooks, and he gets out there, right, to get to the hooks. Again, they run a quick screen. Hall does a pretty nice job. Not only does he contain the outside, but then he's going to take his blocker. He's going to push his blocker back. Not a major deal. Pretty nice shot. Just an interesting look from the Graham defense. Let's get into the next rep. Check out Hall right here. He's going to press the wide receiver. But he's going to press him on the outside. He's going to take outside leverage, press him, get his hands on him, and just kind of stick with him. It's pretty good coverage if you ask me. Nothing major, right? Doesn't even get the ball thrown his way. But once again, that's pretty good coverage. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter, just a couple of plays left. Uh, you're going to see that the Raiders are once again going to show that cover zero look. Um, this is an interesting play because the Raiders are in a cover three. Uh, once the ball gets snapped, at least they're going to be in the cover three. And you're going to see this play right here hits for 39 yards. And I'm not sure exactly what happens because this is very similar to the play I showed you guys earlier. If you guys remember, it was some sort of a cover three and I think it was a pass to Jacoby Myers. It was towards the bottom of your screen. And if you guys remember, the quarterback had just slightly overthrew it. Uh, the receiver ran the seams, and Mac Jones just slightly overthrew it. Now, here's the interesting thing with this play. If you guys look at Hall right now, he's saying something to Nate Hobbs. He's looking at Hobbs, gives him some sort of signal right there. And I'm not sure exactly what he's saying to him. But the ball's going to get snapped, and you can see that he's going to take the vertical hooks. Now, that does technically make sense, right? That's exactly what you would do if you're in a cover three shell. But I'm not sure if there's some sort of lock concept or something else that should possibly happen. Because if you watch Nate Hobbs here, he isn't even worried about the seams. Instead, he's going to follow the receiver here running this dig route. Again, I'm not sure exactly what happens on this play, but you can see the receiver here running the dig. Hobbs is basically following that receiver there. Right again, I'm not sure exactly what happens on this play. I'm not sure if there was some sort of lock concept. Keep in mind, Patrick Graham does do this. In fact, there was a play earlier, I didn't show it to you guys, but it was basically the same thing. It was some sort of cover three, but on the back side, they had some sort of lock concept called again on this play right here 39 yards. So I'm not sure if it was some sort of miscommunication or what it was, but I did want to just point it out to you guys. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Alrighty guys, with that being said, uh, the final play of the game is right here. You know, Tyler Hall had a pretty decent game in my opinion. He did a lot of really good things. A lot of things that I think someone like Patrick Graham can utilize. Overall, I think he's a pretty solid player. Obviously, he's going to have to continue to develop. Is he going to be a superstar player like we've seen some people post on Twitter? I'm going to say probably not. But he does have upside and never say never when it comes to actual development. Understand, he's only ever played seven snaps before coming to the Raiders. He was always basically some sort of special teams player, practice squad player. Uh, this will be technically maybe his third season actually being on an active roster throughout the season. And this is the most he's played. So we'll see what ends up happening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.